Hello everyone, good evening. The Island Stacker here. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to my first video, I guess, in the fact that uh, I went over what I'd accumulated in my first year of stacking. Um, I didn't go through all of the coins as there was a fair fair few amount, a fair few to go through. So in this video, I'd just like to go over all of the silver that I have, um, just so everyone can see the different varieties that I've accumulated. Um, I've just done a quick tot up. I think it's around seven, 70 ounces in total, give or take a few bits and pieces here and there. Um, so yeah, uh, let's jump in and I'll go through everything that I have um, uh, just so you all, all can see. So I'll get rid of some of the big pieces because there's stuff all over the place on my desk. I haven't got a desk that's big enough for all of it. So um, first of all, um, as you know, I'm a fan of the Queen's Beast. Uh, I was late to the party with the the whole series, but uh, I've managed to get one of the 10 ounce uh, bullion coins. So the Isle of Beaufort, um, very nice. I, I have to say, that, as I've said on other videos, I quite like this design. It's a bit weird, uh, a spotted ram or whatever it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, lovely coin, uh, 10 ounces, like I said. Um, I haven't been able to get any of the other ones. This one's <laughs> the only one that I've managed because trying to find these um, anywhere is um, difficult at best, let alone the premiums that people are charging to buy these. So um, yeah, I've only got the one. I have um, a further 10 ounce coin um, on its way that I ordered today. So I will do a video when that arrives because um, that will go with another few different coins that I have. So I'll do a little video on that when I get that and do an unboxing so you can see that. Um, so 10 ounce uh, Yarl of Beaufort. Um, the next big piece that I have is this 10 ounce uh, Una and the Lion. Um, again, very nice. Um, mine's a little bit uh, beaten up on the edges. So as you can see, the edges are a little bit um, rough, I guess, uh, but the design is beautiful. Again, uh, these are limited edition from the Royal Mint. Uh, again, trying to find these anywhere is difficult. Um, but yeah, uh, lovely bar. Uh, I think probably one of the only bars that I have. Uh, no, it is the only bar that I have, um, unless one of the other uh, small pieces that I have counts, but I believe that's classed as a coin or, uh, as a, or a round as opposed to a bar. Um, so yep, Una and the Lion. Um, so where do we go next? So we'll go through uh, Queen's Beast stuff because that's fairly a fair proportion of what I have. So um, I have five of these. Um, so these are the two ounce uh, Greyhound of Richmond. Um, I'm, this was a bit of a disappointment. Um, this was purchased as a bulk order um, from an online dealer. Um, this was supposed to be a mixed um, set. So you pay a fixed amount um, and get a mixture or, or potentially a mixture of different coins with, throughout the series. So I purchased five expecting, oh, I might get at least two, potentially three different variants of the Queen's Beast. Um, and what I got was five Greyhounds. Um, not the best as I'm not this this is probably one of my least favorite of the actual Queen's Beast coins. Um so yeah, um bit bit of a disappointment with those, but five of those. Um similarly I have two other Queen's Beasts. So these were purchased separately on eBay. Um so the Unicorn of Scotland and the Lion of England. Uh, the front and back of the coins is fairly clean, um, but the only problem with the, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Um, there's some uh, marking or milk spotting around the sides of the coins. It's a known issue with these earlier Queen's Beast coins. Um, but the actual front design, um, lovely um, as ever. Um, so yeah, there's two more of those. Uh, other Queen's Beast are, I have some completer coins. Um, so these were just purchased at one of the coin fairs, um, just so I had these in the collection. I have to say, I know the, the completer coin was a bit controversial as everyone thought the 10 coin series was 
um, just the 10 coin series and then the Royal Mint released this 11th coin. So I know there's a lot, of, there's potentially a lot of people that don't have the space for, or they bought presentation boxes for their 10 piece coin set. And now they have this additional one coin. Um, but I have to say, I do like the design. It's an easy way of saying that you have all 10 of the Queen's Beasts. Um, so yeah, great little coin for that. Uh, I know that the Royal Mint's releasing some further editions of that coin um, in different variants. I know that there's the one kilo version, which is a bit mental, um, but I haven't seen one of those. I'd like to get one of my hands on one of those, but obviously that they're, they're a fair amount of money. Um, I have some of the one ounce silver proofs as well in the Queen's Beast. Um, I was trying to collect all of them, uh, but as as with everything, trying to find them for a half decent price proves difficult. Um, so I have the, the Isle of Beaufort. Um, this one was bought from a coin fair that I went to. Uh, it was a reasonable price considering what they're going for on eBay, but the box is a bit, bit beaten up for this, for this one. Um, uh, eBay purchase, this one I purchased was pretty much the same price as what the bullion two ounce was going for. So this was, um, a fairly decent buy on eBay. I think it was around 80, 85 pounds for that one, which is pretty good. Um, as I said in my first video, this was the first coin that I bought. So the one ounce Griffin, um, still a lovely coin. Um, these are going for a fair amount on eBay, I found. Um, the white uh, Greyhound uh, of Richmond again um, in one ounce silver proof. The white line of Mortimer. Um, um, the Queen's Beast Completer, uh, so find that so you can see the bullion versus the proof. I have to say the finish on the proof is a lot better, uh, but that's to be expected with a proof coin versus a bullion graze uh, coin. And then finally, the first of the Tudor Beasts, uh, so the Seymour Panther. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, of, I have to say, on the design of this one. Um, it's, it, it's growing on me, but... I have to wait and see what the other coins come out like in the series. Um, I'll probably do, as I did with the Queen's Beast, the, the collect the quarter ounce gold. Um, but we'll see when those come out. Uh, hopefully those will be out soon. Um, then other Royal Mint coins that I, I have. Um, so just some standard Brits. Uh, so three 2021 Brits. Uh, these were just at, to add to the stack when I bought these last year. Uh, as per my one of my previous videos, uh, the Myths and Legends, so two Robin Hoods, two Maid Marians, and then I'm sure I'll be purchasing two of the Little John coins when they come out. Um, the Olympic 50p, um, I wouldn't normally have bought this, uh, but I have a feeling that there is potential that this could go up in value, but just purely based on the fact of the misprint. So obviously the coin stamped is 2020 here and the reverse is 2021, obviously with the delay due to COVID. So um, interesting little mis mis uh, misdate on that one. Um, I have a, one of the Premier Britannias um, from last year. So this is obviously the first time that the Royal Mint um, put a person of colour uh, on the coin. Um, yeah, it's a great coin. Uh, just another one added to the stack. Um, obviously, these are a bit... Because it's a premium coin, um, the, the premium, obviously, from the Royal Mint was fairly high on these. Um, but they seem to retain their value. These, on the other hand, have seemed to have gone up quite considerably um, based on what I've seen on eBay. So the proof from reverse proof of Lady Britannia, uh, so a two coin set. Um, then I was going to say there's not very many um, in this in this release. I think the one that I have is just over 400 out of um, whatever the mintage for these two this presentation set was. Um, yeah, so I think these are going for potentially double what they were originally. 
Um, then these next three coins are coins that I have accumulated via um, Chards. Did a um, they did a mystery box that you could purchase uh, for Christmas. Um, so it was a fixed price with the potential of winning a proof 2022 sovereign. Um, so I purchased uh, one of those from them, and these are some of the silver coins that came. Uh, in the box. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the uh, Sovereign, but I, I got these, which are fairly, again, something that I wouldn't normally buy, but lovely coins um, to have. So the Proof 50p uh, Snowman in this, I guess, Perspex or plastic um, little display box um, comes with its own little box and little cartoon COA. COA. Um, the uh, 50p celebrating 150 years of public libraries um, this coin will be leaving me shortly this one's just been purchased by a gentleman um, on ebay um, so this one will be going out um, out to him shortly um, and the restoration of the monarchy again this was part of the the mystery box that i've got again something not that i would normally purchase um, i'm not the biggest uh royalist as it were um and i'm not the biggest fan of the design of this coin but um it was part of the box that i received um and then finally the stuff that i have that is not from the royal mint um so we have nine krugerrands um so i have five 2021s and four 2020s so these were purchased from a an online dealer um, who is says on their website based in England, uh, but based on the time and their registered address, I, I believe that these have probably come from Europe. Um, but these were a fairly decent price when I bought them um, back, sort of mid mid last year. Uh, but yeah, it took took four weeks or so for them to to come through uh but again i know that there was issues with covid with uh deliveries uh on those so yep nine krugerrands and then some random coins that i've purchased either mainly on ebay just because i like the design so i have this one ounce high relief um kangaroo coin so this is a limited mintage um High relief coin so i think there's about ten thousand of these um it's a considering it's a one ounce coin it's a lot smaller than some of the others so if i show compared to a britannia um yeah the size is obviously a lot smaller in diameter but it's a lot thicker um to get the weight um so yeah there's one of those um from the canadian mint um i have a two ounce uh, kraken coin um, I just like the design on this, so I had to have one. Again, these these are going for, these go for fair fair whack on online if you can find them. They're they're about eighty ninety pound a coin, uh, but yeah, I wasn't paying that kind of money for these. But luckily, I managed to find one for a half decent price by trolling through eBay. Um, I have an American um, Kennedy half dollar. Um, something just to add to the collection um some american um silver um i have these which were given to me um as a present by someone so these are quarter ounce um silver lego replica pieces i guess is the right way of looking at them um so yeah a quarter of an ounce for each one um i'm a fair fairly big lego fan if anyone that ever comes to my flat will appreciate that there's a fair amount of lego kicking around so um that's why i've got those um so this is the only other one that i was i don't know if this class is a coin or a bar you'll have to let me know in the comments correct me uh what it is uh but this i was given um a voucher for amazon but rather than waste it on needless tat that I probably don't need from Amazon. Um, I thought I'd invest it in something um, at least tangible that might make me some money. So I bought one of these. Um, and then three more, um, again, from the Australia Mint. 
again this is a, a series that i hadn't appreciated how nice the actual coins were but i only have this one due to the fact that again the coins go for a fair amount on online so it's the tiger versus dragon um the detail on this is absolutely amazing considering the size of the coin um i know there's uh three or four in the series but again um cost has kept me from buying any more of these um lovely little coin um this uh one ounce puffing coin so this is a limited mintage um of ten thousand coins so these are issued under the under alderney um i know that the i'm guessing they're probably still from the mint but I like everything that like the, they do from the channel islands etc um comes under the mint uh but yeah this one's down as alderney um so as i was saying these are a limited edition ten thousand coin run um being from the channel islands as well um the reason i had to buy one of these um and finally um uh this was on ebay again another purchase um, Year of the Pig, one ounce silver proof, um, part of the Lunar series from the, the Perth Mint. Um, th this is again a limited series, a limited release of I think 10,000 coins or 8,000 potentially. Uh, and according to the COA I checked just before this video, this is number 96. Um, so yeah, this was a, a steal on eBay. Um, I think this was maybe 40 quid at the time. Um, then they probably double that uh, these days. Um, so yeah, decent purchase. You can find decent uh, priced coins on Am uh, Amazon, eBay, if you dig around and poke around long enough. Um, so yeah, that's everything. Um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I've collected over the, the last year or so. Um, let me know in the comments what you think or what you prefer uh, out of everything that I've shown. What's your favourite? Um, and as, ev as ever... Um, like, comment, subscribe if you don't already. Um, thanks very much and I'll catch you in the next one.